Look Jen. This is my mother's new website. My uncle did it for her. Wow. It looks great. How can I create a website Jen? To create a website, you need to know HTML. What is HTML? HTML is Hypertext Markup Language. It is used to write web pages. Can you teach me HTML? Sure. I'll tell you about it. At the end of this unit, you will be able to Describe the structure of a website. List the HTML editors, its features, and advantages. List the components of HTML codes and state its rules. Describe the structure of HTML. Describe the body and line break elements of HTML codes. As you know, Internet is a network of computers worldwide. It has servers that store and run websites that other computers can access. A website has three parts, a home page, the main section, and the subsections. Click on each to know more about them. The home page is the first page that opens when you click on any website address. It informs you what the website is all about. The main section of a website has the headings of the main areas covered in the website. The subsections contain the major portion of the web content. HTML has two basic tools. Editors and browsers. Editors are used to create and save the documents. Web browsers are used to view the web pages. WYSIWYG and text editors are two main types of HTML editors. Click on the HTML editors to know more. Do you know what WYSIWYG stands for? Well, its full form is, what you see is, what you get. In this type of editor, you can create web pages without using HTML coding. They use graphical interfaces, and tools to enable, you to make a web page. They also allow you to insert pictures, images, tables, graphs and even hyperlinks in the web page. Some examples of WYSIWYG editor of HTML are Adobe Dreamweaver and Microsoft Front Page. The advantages of this editor are the ability to create quick websites and not requiring the knowledge of HTML tags and commands. Now we'll look at what a text editor is. Some of the text editors Notepad and WordPad. You can create HTML document if you know HTML coding. Let us see how to create HTML document using a notepad. Follow these steps to open a notepad. Click Start. Click on All Programs. Accessories Notepad Select File, and then New to open a new document. Type the HTML code as shown. Again click on File, and select Save as to save your file. Choose the location where you want to save the file in the Save As dialog box, and type the name of the file, and extension, htm, or, html, and click Save.
any browser like Google, Firefox, or Internet Explorer can be used to view a HTML document. Click on the Internet Explorer icon to know how to view an HTML document. In Internet Explorer, you have to follow the steps given below. Select the file and then select Open. An open dialog box will open. Click Browse in it. In the file selection dialog box, select the HTML file you wish to view. Click Open. In the open dialog box, click OK. You can now view the HTML file on Internet Explorer. Did you know? In case you cannot view the menu in the Internet Explorer, all you have to do is press Alt. The menu will appear. Alternatively, you can click above or beside the address bar and choose Menu Bar from the options to view the menu bar. Now we can look into the HTML coding. It uses elements, tags and attributes. It also has some rules to be followed while coding. Click on each sub-tab to know more about them. Elements and Tags Elements are HTML codes that have opening and closing tags with all the content in between. Some elements do not have a closing tag. An HTML opening tag or the on tag begins with a lesser than sign, less than and ends with a greater than sign, greater than for example, we use be greater than to bold any text in the document. There is a forward slash included in the closing or off tag. For example, less than slash be greater than is used after the text that has to be bold in the document. Elements with both opening and closing tags are called container elements. Some elements like the less than hours greater than tag used to draw a horizontal line do not have a closing tag. They are called empty elements. Another example for such a element is BR greater than tag used for line break. HTML attributes. Attributes are added information given inside the opening tag about the element. For example, if background color has to be added to an element, then the element will be written as less than body bg color equals red greater than html rules there are five basic rules for writing html codes though tag and attribute names are not case sensitive it is better to use the lower case it could be made mandatory in the future HTML. Attribute value can be case sensitive. Spaces between tags do not matter. There should be no space inside a tag. Two tags in an element must be nested like the sample given below. Less than B greater than less than U, greater than this is important, less than slash U, greater than less than slash B, greater than. It shouldn't be written as less than B, greater than less than U, greater than this is important, less than slash B, greater than less than slash U, greater than. We shall now see the structure of an HTML document. An HTML document has two parts, the head and 
the body. The head section has the information, or title of the document. The HTML is a container element, that specifies that the document, is an HTML1, for the browser. It has, two elements, that is, the head and the body element. They in turn, can have other elements. The head element is that, part of the HTML coding, that has the identification, and, supplementary information, that are generally not displayed. Another container element is the title element. It has the title of the document, that you see in the browser. The body element has, all the contents that have to come in the document. Now, let me tell you more, about the body and line break elements. Click, on the buttons to, know more. Body element. The body element is a container element. That means it has an on tag and an off tag. In between them, all the text, images and more elements to help in formatting the web page are written. It also has a number of attributes, to format the display, of the web page. They are, BG color, text, left margin, top margin. BG color attribute displays the background color of the document. It could be a color name or a hexadecimal code. Example Body BG color equals green Body BG color equals F, 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 A, F, 0 Text attribute displays the text color. It could be a color name or a hexadecimal code. Body text equals white Body text equals, 0, 0, 0, 0, 8, 0. Left margin sets the left margin, and, is given in numeric value, in pixel units. Example. Body left margin equals 30. Top margin sets the top margin, and, is given in numeric value, in pixel units. Example Body top margin equals 50 Another example of HTML code, for the web page is, shown on screen. Line break element Any browser needs, a line break for it, to start a new line, or paragraph. This element is written as BR. It does not have an end tag. If we add br tags, wherever we want a new paragraph, the text in the web page will show a new paragraph. Similarly, we can give multiple br tags to give a space of multiple lines. For example, we can give four br tags to give a four line break space. Now, you have successfully learned. How to write HTML codes, for the body and line breaks. Oh! I learn, a lot about HTML today. Shall I recall, all of them Jen? A website has three parts, a home page, the main section, and the subsections. HTML has two tools, the editor, and the browser. HTML coding is done with elements, tags, and attributes. There are some rules, for HTML coding. Tag names, and attribute names, are not case sensitive. Attribute values could be case sensitive. Spaces between tags, do not matter. Inside a tag, there should be no space. For example, writing body, is not correct. Elements have to be, 
nested. That's wonderful. You have learnt it all. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you.